Hello YouTube, welcome back over to Gaming House, and I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick little video because I've gone through on my video about outfits and I've gone through on a couple other people's videos uh, about the outfits in Dying Light. I've noticed rising the question that constantly occurs is how to unlock said outfits. Now, I mentioned in my video, but I don't know, maybe they muted me like I told them to, which maybe I shouldn't mention in my videos at all to mute myself. But I digress. The only way to unlock outfits in Dying Light is to rank up your survival rank. And in order to rank up your survival rank, you need to do a few things. You get you get experience for your survival rank by completing main story missions. You get it by completing side story missions. You also get it by turning in disaster relief packages, which are obtained through some of the quarantine areas and are also dropped in for the first segment of the game, which, be warned, eventually, if you progress the story, airdrops stop coming in, so you'll be left cut and dry for a little while, at least until you get to the second part of the game in Old Town, where you will find relief packages again. You may also get more survival experience by completing the random blue events located around Haran that spawn that are randomly generated. Uh, not the ones where you just talk to someone, but say you had to rescue someone from Rise's thugs, or rescue someone from zombies, or any of the mutated infected if you're in Old Town. That will get you survival rank as well. Another way is, of course, to survive for extended periods of time at night. Which, the advice there is to just not die. You can go ahead and run around and try not to get caught. That'll help you out too. Uh, I believe they reward you more if you're actually a bit more ballsy. I can't quite confirm on that due to the stuff they mentioned for you, which is like Unnoticed, Explorer, Runner. Those are the only ones I've gotten. I'm not sure there's any others or how much experience they influence. Because I'm like max rank now, so I can't really quote on it. But try not to die while at night because it'll reset your experience progression and of course advance the time a little bit, at least if you're playing by yourself. So my advice to anyone that's wanting to unlock a good chunk of the outfits and also rank up your survival rank, I believe the last outfit unlocked is the Juggernaut one at rank 18. Someone may correct me or so, but I know ranks 20 to 25 you don't get jack shit for other than more experience points, which are good, but they're not more outfits. But my advice to level up... I'm pausing. I am had a brain fart. I'm not editing that out. To rank up is to farm the airdrops that come in pretty much stay holding off on your main story mission so we got the story enough to where you have your first airdrop come in and then that can in turn activate the airdrops while you're in the slums so keep that going try not to progress the story too much because i don't remember which story mission deactivates it but keep that going farm disaster relief drops and all that stay out at night and those are your fastest ways to possibly rank it up so just go ahead and grind it out, and then you should get your good, at least till 18 or so, you'll get your Juggernaut outfit. That's the last one again. And that's going to end the video here. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Not really, I don't really care. YouTube, you fun jazz stuff. There you go. And as always, you're welcome over to come back over to Gaming House for more gameplay and commentary.